Welcome to the hot and spicy or really the pre hot and spicy. I'm just going to show you um, how I prepare things and how long I cook things for uh, before you see the end result and I'll just show you now we're having pork ribs and I'll show you what I've done to them. So there you go. In there we've got the pork ribs which I made or marinated yesterday. You can see there. Now they're just normal pork ribs I've bought in the, in the shop. Then I've put a Nando's Peri Peri Hot. Um, it's called a co um, coat and cook sauce. And you're meant to coat it for half an hour then cook them. But I've marinated them overnight. It's got a bit of a kick to it. I have tasted the sauce before I put it on. Uh, then I've seasoned them. Salt and pepper. And as you can see there, those loads of red things, there's about 12 finger chilies. Now, the sauce itself is made with African finger chilies. And I've added, and that, as I say, that's got a bit of a kick to it, but I've added 10 or maybe 12 of these small um, finger chilies. So these are at room temperature now. They're going to go onto this baking tray uh, with a bit of a gap between them, covered in foil. And then put in the oven, which is heating behind me, at 150C. Uh, once the oven reaches temperature, these will go in on the middle shelf for an hour and a half. And then I'll probably take the foil off and finish them for about 10, 20 minutes. About 20 minutes. And then uh, that's it. So uh, the next thing you'll see is them on the plate and hot and spicy. So enjoy. So just before you go, this is what they look like on the baking tray. And as I say, cover these now with some foil in the oven for an hour and a half. And uh, we'll see. Welcome upstairs. And as promised, here they are. Here's the, uh, the hell's that? Hmm. Here's the finished product. When you see bones recede like that, that's a sign of perfection. So hopefully that'll help anybody that wants to cook ribs similar to this. Um, pork ribs and you can see the bits on the top of the chilies. Um, as I say, they're a hot, the, the Nando's um, Peri Peri Hot uh, Marinade Sauce. Cook and uh, coat and cook. It's a liquid in a, pa in a pouch. And um, yeah, it's got a bite to it, but it wouldn't have been enough for me. So me, well, being me, <laughs> 10 of the hottest chilies they sold there, which were the finger chilies. And I put 10 or 12 of them in, uh, chopped them up. And then, as I said, the sauce already contains African finger chilies. So we're having them. This is a new on their finest line in Tesco. And this is um, Red Leicester. Mature cheddar and balsamic vinegar, I suppose. Uh, onion, no, balsamic and onion, that's right. Flatbread. So cheese, onion, and um, I've tried this. I don't think I've tried it before. I may have done. But uh, it's quite heavy. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Wow. Very nice. Um, let's give it a go. How are you doing? How's the week gone? Because it's bloody flying by for me. I'm just in the middle of uh, finishing off the shaving video for tomorrow. Growing a. Uh, cheers. Wow, that's nice. Do you know what that reminds me of? So much to say. Shaving video for tomorrow. Door knocker. Van Dyke. Goatee. Whatever you call it. I call it a goatee. It's officially a Van Dyke and all this sort of thing. Don't worry, but don't take it too serious. Some people take it. <laughs> so, uh, for Movember. Movember. For the um, uh, prostate cancer 
um, what I do is I grow it out of respect for that uh, charity and then I'll donate something uh, probably at the end of the November, Movember um, towards it myself I don't collect money do you know what that reminded me of? Harp, do you remember Harp? Lager I used to drink it when I was well when I was younger too young too old no too young to drink really but Christmas time uh, my uncle used to say yeah have a can of this bloody great I was old and you know I was, how old do you mean 14 15 some of that and it reminded me of that harp can't get it now I don't think there's something there like and what it is it's from Aldi Saint Antine, Antine, isn't it? How do you say that? It's four point eight percent, isn't it? Oh, Christ, hang on, bloody eyes! You know, as quick as I put them on, isn't it? We go with these ribs in a minute. Four point eight percent. Who cares? Right. Um, lovely. That's very nice. Just top that up, and we'll give these ribs a go, shall we? Okay. Here we go. Let's try one. Mm. Well, yeah. Clean off the bone. See? So 150 degrees C, low and slow. Ribs out for an hour, out the fridge, room temperature. You know, after I've marinated them last night and then. Bring them out today an hour, room temperature, preheat oven, baking tray, on the tray, covered with foil. Wow, that's nice. Centre the oven, hour and a half, don't touch it. Bring them out, foil off, back in, same temperature, 150. That's prob probably 170 on a normal oven, I'm around there. 165, 170, and then um, in for 20 minutes. I put them and very nice, very nice, nice kick. I wasn't sure they'd be too hot actually, but uh, maybe more chilies on the others. Mm. Mm, beautiful, remember today. Bloody annoyed today, but with um, well, it's not Amazon's fault, and yes, it is Amazon's fault. Um, I ordered a Allen block, and um, quite reasonably priced. And I thought, yeah, I've got, I've got a couple here, but I thought I'd buy it while it was <laughs> terrible. When the prices are lower, <laughs> I'm not going to say on offer. And I thought I'd buy it, and it arrived today by courier. Nothing against, well, I don't know, unless they were rough with it, in this. Now it's not protected enough. It's a mineral stone. Oh, here we go. And it's in bits. Absolutely in bits. Now I could... Sorry about this. Bloody riffraff. Oh, it's bonfire night, isn't it? No, 5th of November, that, isn't it? No, it was... Anyway. I thought, oh, there's a bloody shooting outside. <laughs> no, I'm not stopping eating for that. Anyway, put me off it. It'll add to the video. Um, what was I saying? Smash the bits. Now, I could send it back, but I'm not going to bother. I'm going to keep it and I'm going to write them. I'm going to write on the thing. You know, it says review this product. Products are I arrived smashed to bits inadequately, uh, inadequate, not not wrapped properly. So um, no good to nobody. I'll use the main, you know, the big chunk of it. Okay, I'll use that. This is lovely. 
it's in their finest range absolutely stunning chili mm. you know That's what you call it. Wow, that's a nice pork too. On his Tesco. What? <coughs> While I was there, looking along the hot sauce, I can't help it. Always looking for new. And did I see anything? Yes, I did. There was a special area. Well, I'll show you that in a minute. This one here. Let's go on here. Warning, I've seen this yellow thing. Look at that. Born in Cal Carolina Reaper, the hottest sauce they do. So we'll see how hot that is in a future one. And this stuff, you see, it's a skull, and that is chili oil. Might be able to see in the bottom. There's chili seeds and all sorts. Chili oil, and that's um, devilishly hot oil chili oil well how hot it is i don't know i haven't tried anything yet so these are for future uh, videos um the i've told you about was it three four weeks ago now i've ordered some noodles which i've had i've had them for weeks and i've done a video was it last year oh, i think of them and uh, they are hot it's the um it's the liquid that's hot there's a lot of chilies on that mm. Out the bone. Beautiful. I've had this lager before. But I don't remember it. it reminded me of um harp. It's a stronger version though, harp wasn't strong. I actually like harp. Somebody said in the comments, um, oh I forgot, Anthony, maybe, he said try this Holston Pills. Strong, I know it's strong, I'm not keen on it. Anything Pilsner. Um, or the very like the um, Carlsberg export is it the super strong ones I don't like them it's weird I, the taste I mean I don't like it but yeah this is nice not much of a head on it not as um, smooth as Carlin but lovely now I have been out this last week and I filmed a cooking in the, well not cooking really, in the woods um, reheating the woods, I was testing the um, jet boil look-alike if you like uh, excuse me so I'll put that up I filmed it, I'll put that up sometime uh, it's all ready These are absolutely perfect for me. Heat? No, I could. I should have used hotter chilies really to have that bite, but there's a nice tingle. It's always lovely. Please with the new bread. That's very tasty. Nothing like the old butter, but it's nice in its own way. Are you doing anything nice the weekend, this weekend? Chili. Just see if I can show you this. No. Let's just break in. Breaks away. Slow and low is the best way to do ribs. Mm -hmm. 
because on the box it states to cook them for 50 minutes 30 minutes with foil on and then um, 20 minutes with foil off <coughs> so I reduced the heat and done them for longer and it's much better you'll know that if you cook and things really nice I'm really enjoying these I don't know what it's like in other areas fireworks if it's November the 5th fireworks night bonfire night we call it you'll have them roughly the week before like tonight well it's only a few days before a couple of days and then you'll have them for a few days after <laughs> nobody ever sticks to the 5th and that's it it's um it's funny oh that was hot that was lovely mm. been having the curries and Not much to say, sorry. Dinner tomorrow, Sunday dinner. What are we having? <clears throat> Lamb chops on the bone. Mm. And then um, roasted. Um, new potatoes. Steam them. Um, broccoli. I'll steam that. And fine beans. Some fine beans. Thin beans. I'm trying to think. Now, what did I say in the shave? I was having. I'm sure, I didn't say broccoli, but it's broccoli. <laughs> Maybe I did. I don't. Know. Anyway, um, lascentos, Natalie. Regards to you and your husband. I hope he's having some good shaves. Um, Lashentos of gravy round it and then some uh, mint sauce on the lamb. Beautiful. And I doubt there'll be any of these left by then, but. Uh, and two pound, what were they, 49 for four. Beautiful. Thank you, Aldi. Aldi's doing well. These big supermarkets are worried now. Well, quite rightly so, a bit of competition. So, um, and they're bringing out Aldi. Um, they're not in our store yet. In Denby, it's a big store now, brand new. Uh, oh, um, Hazy. It's done a um, video on the two of them. The Ghost Chili Burgers, you said they were horrible taste I'm not going to bother with them and um, Carolina Reaper sausages so I'm going to try them Mrs. Uh, house to myself tonight Mrs H is out rip in the town <laughs> gone to some friends well friends and colleagues really she works for them um, in her business and um, she's a care worker um, and they're having a I think Chinese and Indian maybe Chinese and Indian curry and stuff like that and I was invited so thank you to June and Jeff um, if any of you are watching, thank you very much for the offer. But as you know, it's uh, <laughs> all this lot to do. But um, no, thanks very much. Um, and then, oh yeah, ordered a razor. Um. I bloody hate it. Amazon is not my friend at the minute. It's arriving on the 2nd, it said yesterday. 
yesterday came nothing email um, it's arriving on Tuesday and then I had an email um, it's delayed uh, instead of just saying it'll arrive in a week or two weeks if they're not sure you know what I mean when they keep moving it because in the end I'll cancel it I'll get it from somewhere else but um, yes yeah, majority though they're very good they're very quick you know I'll say that for them but it's annoying I suppose we have it too we have it too good in a way really I suppose it's there and bang 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 and when that doesn't happen you oh you're rubbish too harsh really but uh, I will say this if you'd have sent it through Royal Mail Tracked I'll say no more nothing against any other companies but um, what was I going to say yeah that's it I think that is a lot um, oh I was talking to a chap today you know this coffee maker I got he got the big version and he was saying about it he said um uh, he, he uses it a few times and it makes a lovely coffee and he's got a a bike he's just bought and he said there's an advert on the bike and uh, the fella after he's done this sort of run on the bike through the moors over the hills up and down blah de blah and when he gets back to his van he's got one of these but it's a red version does his coffee and then he has his coffee and looks at his bike and thinks yeah fantastic <laughs> <laughs> Good advert. Most haunted have been to Rithin Castle. They were there earlier in the year filming because I was there. Didn't see them. I was just there on the day they were they were there. And um, look at that beautiful. There we go. Um, I missed it. It was a really channel called Really um, this last week, I think. And then, uh, but if you type in YouTube "most haunted Rithin Castle," there's two videos, forty minutes long each. And they've had access to some of the um, sort of derelict rooms they don't use as well. Yeah. Very nice. Right, I'll do it to it. Sorry if he'd go on, because to me now this has been about what twenty minutes. And when I come to edit, I look at it, thirty minutes no way. And I'm sorry. So I'm gonna go. I've given myself a fright again. <laughs> Anyway, ribs are an absolute success. The chilies, I should have added the whole packet. There was about 20, 25 in the packet. Um, not that it made much difference, but there's a lovely, gentle, warming tingle. Nothing major, um, but really nice. The pork was tender off the bone. Really nice. No need for any external I could have used. <laughs> That'd have been a good one to try some of this. I'm not going to. I want that for future. I may use. You won't see this in hot and spices probably, uh, unless I use it in. I'm going to use this in cooking. In cooking things, the chicken. I experiment a lot myself. I don't know. I love cooking. I'm not a cook. I'm not a chef. Um. Well, no, I am a cook, I suppose, but I'm not a chef. Or, you know, I did train as a chef for six months in part of my butchering training, and I learnt a lot from that, and uh, I've picked up a lot, um, different things. But I'll be using this in some of my cooking. Uh, I tr do different things, you see, I cook, um, I try things. Um, uh, experiment with different recipes for myself. I, I get a recipe which I enjoy and I know that works and then I'll change it to my own a few of my own ingredients I'll, I may change the cooking method 
and then I'll add something like a, a chili oil instead of something else and see if it works and if it works you know I make it I do lots of stuff like that but um you're glad I don't film it <laughs> God, be and then data with videos but um yeah so I'll use that in cooking probably but uh, I may use it in future hot and spices when I prepare stuff thanks for watching have a great weekend have a good Sunday tomorrow and um, if any of you are growing anything for Movember good luck it's only, it's only a few days this but um, good luck with it and uh, yeah I'll um, probably I might do a oh, excuse me a vlog tomorrow night um, on a certain subject we'll see how it goes for time and, and then I'll put this um, uh, in the woods just heating up a th it's nothing special it's just heat trying the stove out and if you're going to watch it before you go look it's going on now before you watch it um, when I use the stove I put a there's an attachment for the kettle so you can take the jet boil top off put this attachment you can use any pan on it I didn't attach it properly in the video um, the reason for that is I should have pulled out some little clips which I realized when I got home it's too late I'd already filmed it but uh, in case you see it you think oh that's not you may not notice but anyway I'm gonna open this now my harp harp look-alike lager Thanks for watching, see you in the next video, take care, have a great weekend and thanks again, thanks for everything.